So friends, what we have here is a Nissan Leaf Nismo RC. Yes, it looks a lot like a 2013 showroom stock Nissan Leaf that's been squashed. But really what it is, is Nissan's way of saying to the car world, I think you should take us seriously. Now, Carlos Ghosn is the kind of guy that, um, let's just say he's very persistent. And I think he finally is getting through to us car guys about EVs. Who would have thought putting an electric motor in a race car would become this? I think when Nancy was onto something with these electric cars, it's just instantaneous storage and no weight. The Nissan Leaf Nismo RC is a bit of a Franken car. It's a combination of off-the-shelf Leaf with a bit of RC thrown into it. You're probably asking the question, what does the RC stand for in Nismo RC? Racing car, just look at it. It's made virtually all of carbon fiber. The roof, the hood, the doors, and especially the tub is all carbon fiber. Connected to that, the front and the rear, is an aluminum subframe. Connected to the subframe, we have a typical race car wishbone suspension with coilovers. Now, there's a little bit of GTR thrown in here. The wheels are made by Ray's Engineering, just like your standard GTR. Then, we get to the motor. Now, that's where we have the off-the-shelf leaf parts that you would find in the parking lot of any yoga studio. This one, 108 horsepower with 187 pound-feet of torque. So let's do the math here. You guys know I'm very much a Lotus guy. This is 980 kilos, so we're going to translate that to about 2,000 pounds. Add 2,000 pounds with 187 pound-feet of torque, and that is a lot more fun than going to any yoga class. I mean, granted, this thing is perfect built to be a race car, so there's virtually no ground clearance, which is what makes it handle so sharp. Like, I'm going to a cone here, and boom. You just point, you don't steer. This is even sharper than my beloved Lotus. You know, it's funny, I've been reading car magazines all my life, and virtually every review is, eh, it's got a little understeer at the limit. This, no such thing. You guys might notice the uh, mount is not as uh, stable as it normally is. That's because the mount didn't work. It vibrates, it doesn't shake, it vibrates because of the plexiglass. So I've had to have old Jay come in here and uh, sit and hold the camera. But the problem is, Jay, he doesn't like it when we do this. So I'm not gonna do this to him much longer because I love you guys. But I don't want Jay to throw up on me. So inside, it's not the same aerogonomics you would expect from the 2013 Leaf. It's more wings of the Luftwaffe. Everything is aviation inspired, which I love the title switches, by the way. But what's even cooler is the startup sequence. There's this main kill switch on the side, and it's got this red cover on. You have to flip down, kind of like you're dropping a bomb. You hit the main, cover back up, the car starts to power up. Then. You put your foot on the brake, and note about the pedals. They're very cool aluminum pedals straight out of a race car. They even have a safety on the side so your foot doesn't fall off the gas, the electric, whatever it is. Then there's the ignition. So we switch the ignition on, the system then comes on. Now, the car doesn't have a transmission, so how do you go forward or backward? That's the shifter position switch. So to go forward, we just move it into forward and hit the gas or the electric in the car will go. But that's not as interesting as going backwards. So let's go back to neutral and then shift your position to reverse. Notice the car is not gonna go anywhere. It's not because my foot's on the brake. We have another one of these special like bomb switches. We take it down and then hit the reverse range starter button. And then there's a toggle switch to pick low or high range for the reverse and the car goes backwards. This thing really is pretty cool, but at the end of the day, it's not really about what this car is today. It's a glimpse of what's to come. So click here to watch one of our 250 other episodes. Click here to subscribe. And can we ask you guys a favor? Can you watch these within the first 36 hours? Because it gets us more views, which gets us more dollars, which gets you more episodes. And of course, follow us, Motoman TV, all one word, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll see you guys next time.